Hello guys, in today's video, I am going to teach you how to apply for the fully funded Erasmus Mundus Scholarship. This is a fully funded scholarship in Europe and it enables you to study master's programs in two to three or even four different European countries. There are a lot of these scholarships still open and I have gotten a lot of questions about how to apply to this scholarship a lot of persons are still confused about what to do and how to apply this is what i'm going to be teaching you in this video how to apply to the erasmus mundus fully funded scholarship just stick with me and i'll guide you through this first and foremost this scholarship is for anyone who is interested in a master's scholarship in europe and the scholarship is open to students all over the world so whatever country you are from you can apply to this scholarship you also need to note that this scholarship is a fully funded scholarship it covers everything it covers the cost of your education the tuition fee it even covers the travel expenses visa and even your living allowance after your program you are going to get a joint degree from two to three different universities and this is definitely a plus to your cv Right now, let's go straight into how to apply to the Erasmus Mundus Scholarship. But before we do that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to be part of this channel. This is the homeland of international opportunities. So you can see right here, search and apply. The first thing you want to do is go over to the course catalog. So I'm going to click on this link right here, search the course catalog. So it takes us to the new website right here. So you can see right here, you have the Erasmus Mundus Master's Opportunities for All. So you can read up every information on this website. But what you're interested in are the courses right here. Down here, you can find the different courses under the Erasmus Mundus catalog. And you can also do your search with the filter right here. So you can do your search based on the course you want to study by putting the name of the course right here in the keyword. And then you can also select, um, do your search based on the country you want to study. For the Erasmus Mundus, you have to study in two to three or even four different countries. Like in this very first course right here, MSc in Smart Cities and Communities. You can see right here that for those who are going for this course, they are going to study in Belgium, Spain, Greece and Finland. You can also filter based on the duration and credits. You can filter based on universities you want to study. You can filter based on the feed of study as well as year of project selection. So once you are done, hit on the search button and then you're going to see the course to the right hand side. But for this video, I'm not going to do a search. I'm just going to work with the ones we already have here. So one thing you need to note about applying to the Erasmus models is that you only need to apply to the consortium. You do not need to send an application to the universities, to the different universities that are involved in the particular program. You only need to do one application and that is to the consortium. You can see right here, the different programs here, they are different consortium. And you can see the link to the um, website. For example, this link right here. We also have another link right here. These are the links to the different consortium and that is where you make your application. One thing you need to note is that the different consortiums have different deadlines. So they have different opening and closing deadlines. Some of the courses are uh, some of the courses have deadlines in March this year. Some have deadlines in February, some have deadlines in January. So there are different deadlines. So you have to click on the course that you want to study that you're interested in and check out the deadline. So I'm going to give you an example right here with this master's program in communication, engineering, and data science. So the, what you need to do is to click on this link right here. So the link where you have unite.coders. So I'm gonna click on that and it takes me to the consortium website. So this is the consortium website and this is where you apply for the scholarship. You do not need to apply separately to the universities. So you want to read up every information on this page that will help you to understand it better. And these are the different universities that are involved in this particular program. You can see right here. So if you come to the top, you can see um, how to apply. So you want to click on that to read up how to apply to this particular program. 
first you can see the admission schedule right here the different dates if you read it closely you can see that the application deadline for this particular program is um, going to end 19th of january 2024 but it can still run up till the 22nd of march 2024 that is if there are still available spaces so for this particular program it means that even if you want to apply right now you can still apply for the program so the first thing you want to do is check out the deadline and make sure that you can still apply to the program and then you can see how to apply for this particular program there are two phases it can differ from program to program so for this particular one the first phase is application and document submission and then the second phase is motivation video submission not all programs use motivation video some will just need you to use a motivation letter so it is very simple and straightforward the most of the programs i think all the programs they use an application portal so you just have to apply online and to do that you only need to submit the necessary documents and then you are good to go um, for each of the consortium, once you go to the how to apply page, you are going to find all the important informations including the link to the application portal as well as the documents needed. For this particular consortium, you can see right here link to application form. So once you click on this link, it will take you straight to the application form where you can begin to uh, where you can register and begin to fill out all the necessary forms and upload the necessary documents. The most important thing is to read through the um, the consortium website and how to apply website where you find all the information. For example, you can see information on a motivation video for this particular consortium. You can see university preference, general eligibility. Make sure to look through the eligibility in the consortium website to know if you are eligible or not. So you must be eligible before you can apply. You can also see right here, you can apply to the Erasmus Moodle Scholarship for this particular consortium even if you are not done with your bachelor's. So as long as you are going to finish your bachelor's by 31st of July 2024, then you can apply to this program. And like I said, you are going to find all the information on the how to apply page for any consortium that you are looking at. For this particular one, you can see required documents. So you can see right here all the documents you need to submit and how to submit them is right here so the documents must be in pdf format as stated right here you need your bachelor's certificate and if you have not completed your program then you do not need to use a bachelor's degree certificate and then you also need your official transcript of study so it's the same thing applies to you if you have not completed your program you can get a transcript for the part that you have completed you also need copy of your valid passport um, that shows your citizenship you need proof of place residency you also need proof of english language proficiency for most of the consortium if you come from an english speaking country then you do not need to provide uh, forms of English proficiency tests like IS or TOEFL. Uh, and also, if you completed your first degree in English, most of the consortium also waive IS or TOEFL for you. So you also need your motivation letter. You can check out my videos on how to write an award-winning letter of motivation. I also made another video that talks about three reasons why you are not getting your scholarship so you can also check that out to know how to write a very good letter of motivation and also you can get my ebook which has um, numerous letter of motivation from scholars who have won scholarships that can also guide you then you need your cv as one of the documents required so, so you, can you can go through depending on your consortium to see additional documents that would also uh, improve your application so you can see them right here to apply for this particular consortium, you do not need um, certified copies yet. So they have stated that admitted applicants must submit certified or attested hard copies of the bachelor's certificate and transcript of study. So for now, you can apply with the copy you have, just make a photocopy or just scan it and apply with the documents you have already without any form of certification. And for those who do not understand proof of place residency like stated PPRO, it is stated here that it is a document verifying the country and the city you currently live in. So it can be a form of document you get from your local government for those in Nigeria. So you can get a document which states your local government of origin 
or any form of document that states your country and the city you currently live in you can also see right here that you can get your proof of place residency either from your normal local government or from your place of work your current place of work your place of study or a place of training so this can be issued by the employer or the institution so you can see that there is a template right here so you can download this template and fill it out and give it to your employer or to your university so let's check out the template quickly so you can see the template right here just contains some basic information date of birth name and that is all so you can use this template and you are good to go if you come down on this page you can also see the selection criteria right here so you must take a look at it and make sure you are able to fit this into your application so the idea about this is that you make sure to read through the consortium website and how to apply website and this will give you a good understanding of how to submit your application as well as how to um, craft out your letter of motivation and make sure it fits the program very well so this is very very important and for this particular consortium once you are good to go you just hit on the link to the application form and then it takes you to the application portal and right here you have to create an account as you can see you create an account you log in and then you can continue to fill out the forms and upload the documents and submit your application that is how to apply you don't you do not have to apply to the university uh, or the program itself right here we are back to the erasmus modules catalog if you've gotten any value so far hit the like button and i want to show you another example quickly so if you come down you can also see uh this program right here european master of science in skin health and care so let's take a look at this you go to the uh, to the website of the consortium right here on the official website of this particular program you can see that applications will open february 1st 2024 so for this particular course the applications have not even started so it differs from course to course and you can see down here they have an online emotion info session for this particular program so on february 8th at 2 pm there's an online session so for those interested in this course click on the link to have access or save this date so that you can have access to understand um, more about this particular program but for now what you can do is come over to this part that says application procedure information can be found here so click on application procedure to understand uh, more about this particular program so you can do this for every other program so right here you can see the application instructions everything just read through right here they are just showing the different categories but we are basically interested in students with erasmus scholarship so that is the part that we are interested in so if you come down you can see the timeline of application and also when you are going to resume so you want to make sure to read through the entry requirements you can see bachelor's degree or higher so just read through everything for now the application portal is not open but if it is open you are going to find the link right there on the first page and even on this particular page what i want to show you right here is the english certification and the requirements for english proficiency so you can see right here that for non-english for non-native speakers of english um, you need to write this particular test but you can also sit down here that the consortium considers the countries listed below as countries of native english speakers so if you are from any of these countries then you do not need to to write um is or TOEFL. you can see right here that nigeria is part of the countries there are a lot of africa countries right here there's malawi there's liberia so you can check it out and make sure that you meet the english requirement as well because these scholarships are competitive so you want to make sure you meet all the requirements so if you are from these countries then you do not need to bother yourself about is or TOEFL. and also for candidates who have completed an entire degree program fully taught in english in one of the native english speaking countries listed above the proof of english proficiency is waived so if you have completed um, your programs in english in any of these countries listed above then the, the english proficiency requirement is also waived so like i have said you can see right here application procedure the link for applying will be accessible from february 1st until february 28th for the first round 
and then from May 1st until May 31st for the second round. So you can see right here for this particular consortium, we have two rounds. So that is it basically. Once the link is accessible, you can click on the link and then you can submit your application to that link. So make sure to read every information on this website or the website of the consortium that you are applying to. And for each of the consortium, you are definitely going to find all the documents you need. For example, for this, you can see the documents right here, declaration form. You can download the declaration form from the link right here. You need your CV, your university degree, diploma, academic record, English proficiency, identity document or passport, a motivation letter and reference letter. So everything is out here. You'll find everything on the consortium website and then you can submit your application. I will leave the link to the very first website we looked at in the YouTube description and also in the comment section so that you can check it out right away. Until we meet again, success in your applications.